If a card is set to be destroyed, it cannot be returned to the deck or hand, but you can interact with them in pretty much any other way. This is a ruling that almost never matters. However, there are some situations in which this might come up. Say for example, you activate the ability of Stellar Knight Trivered to bounce all cards on the field to the hand, and then you chain the effect of Called by the Grave. Even though Called by is not supposed to go to the graveyard yet until the chain resolves, it will not be bounced back to your hand, even though it's still on the field, because it's classified as set to be destroyed by game mechanics. This is the case for normal quick play and ritual spells and all trap cards, and also monsters during the damage step that have been destroyed. It's why Penguin Soldier cannot bounce itself back to the hand with its own effect if it was destroyed by battle when being flipped face up, but it can target itself if it wasn't destroyed. However, you can use cards set to be destroyed as a cost and even destroy slash banish and target them with negate effects, which is why you can chain Forbidden Droplet to a called by to get an extra negate, and why you can target a lightning storm with a red dragon, even if you can't bounce them back to the hand. 